only two things that chiropractic owns is the words vertebral subluxation and specific scientific chiropractic adjustments. But is there even such a thing as subluxation? Is this important now? Is it important now? It's important more than ever because there are people in our profession, subluxation, dogma. European schools sign anti-subluxation position statement. Subluxation is an unproven myth. Knowledge polarization, a perspective that chiropractic should be medicine, that we should prescribe drugs, that we should diagnose, that we should treat symptoms. Do you think that that is dangerous for the state of our profession? Time is highly elastic and every minute is our choice. So we need to put our priorities into our schedule because small moments have great power. So from the whole thing, finding where to practice is a big one, but just that's something that zooming out, find the mentors who want to do it. When you get out, ask the questions to avoid the mistakes that I made um, because I made a lot of, did a lot of things excellently, did a lot of things very, very poorly. Love is a basic principle. Chiropractic cares for his eye sword, and my purpose in developing as a chiropractor is to be one of those people to bring on that next tier of consciousness. Please join me. The IFCO asserts strongly that any attempt to define chiropractic subluxation without emphasizing the importance of vertebral subluxation is a din diminution of the profession. Period. Woo! Because we can see how the nervous system transmits these electric impulses. Here's what we don't know is how in the world does it get coded in there, the message that says beat the heart or slow down or speed up or release this. I mean, where is that? That's in the mental impulse. Because if we don't connect and honor the fact that we can receive mentorship of both men and women, then we're going to remain like this and we'll never step up to the plate to be the powerhouses we know to be and step and serve our profession, chiropractic, raising it up to its rightful place. I believe when we're adjusting that tone, we're adjusting, removing subluxation, allowing that person to express, their vibrational state is evolving. Their consciousness is evolving. All aspects of them have the potential to evolve. What color is healthy grass? Green. What happens if I kink the hose that goes to my grass or your grass? It turns brown. Just read the slide. The hard part is going to be staying true to a purpose and staying true to these principles and not letting the infected world, metaphorically speaking, start to take you away from that. Stay true. A lot of us root in a situation where we need to move. But think about that. Do you, you ever have the moment where you're like scared? You're like, I don't know where I'm gonna go. And you're like, I don't know where to go, so I'm not gonna go anywhere, except we've gotta go somewhere, because if we stay where we're at, nothing will change. Everything is a coincidence. I was blind yesterday, I can see today, but I'm pretty sure it's a coincidence. I'm like, yeah, there's hundreds of coincidences happening this week in this office, and I paid hundreds of thousands of dollars to be able to make those coincidences happen, but sure. <laughs> Perception is everything. Neurology controls perception, but perception controls neurology as well. So the ANS regenerates when we restore hope to these people. And that's what we do when we tell them, your body's an incredible self-healing organism. Oh my God, look what it's putting together. Oh my. oh my. And in pregnancy, we're the only ones saying this to these women. You know, when you when there's something that's that's a fire in your belly for you guys as students, like you've worked your butts off to get into chiropractic, and yes, there's a lot on your plate. But again, you know, keeping the eye on the prize. You know, it's about coming to these things, and and you just do it. You didn't really have time in your schedule right now for all of you as students to probably be here this weekend. But you just did it because it's the important things. And so we don't really have accurate statistics that tell us what percentage of the population is really under chiropractic care, the way we would define it. We have some numbers out there that tell us there's this many people perhaps in the population who've ever seen a chiropractor. And what occurred in that chiropractor's office, we don't know. When you were conceived inside of your mother's womb, it was an electrical event. When you die, it is defined as an electrical event. I want innate to approve because if innate doesn't approve, it will oppose that move. And if it opposes that move, it, her innate's taken it and it's opposing it, it's adapted. Could it be destructive? 
Not everybody suggests that you do that. Some people say never just on the first visit. I say, this may be the only time I see them. And as I sat in that field, I realized something about ours, our chiropractic family. We have a morphic field, and what that means is that we are actually responding to vibrations of what have come before us historically. And we sit at this center point of where that morphic field is going to go, and with what we do inside of that field, we affect it. Okay, I want a specialist for my son. I want the best of the best in their chosen art form, in their field. And you know what parents want and really respect and, and need? They want a specialist who's able to detect and correct vertebral subluxations because without a clear nerve system, you can do whatever you want and that other stuff is not going to be nearly as effective. And in my opinion, there's two things that determine the value of chiropractic. One is what the marketplace think about chiropractic, what the medical profession thinks about chiropractic, what the insurance thinks about chiropractic. And the other factor is what we believe that chiropractic is, the value that we put into chiropractic profession. So there's a lot of problems that happen in people with concussions but no symptoms. 30 years after impact, concussed patients can slow slower reaction time than uninjured patients. They show poor motor control, which means there's more risk for knee injuries and low back injuries. And they also show decreased cognitive performance and increased mood disorders. This, uh, for those of you who have never had the opportunity to hear him speak, is incredibly passionate about taking care of children and families. Is there anybody in this room who's incredibly passionate about taking care of children and families? This is a great way to get into that level of understanding of philosophy and also that level of thinking, which is really exciting. They said, you mean to tell me, Danny, just now you get this right, you mean to tell me you want to change public perception of chiropractic? And I said, yes! That's exactly what I want to do! <laughs>